How how was your salad back in the day? Because uh, I know that the I know that the old hair team is a big you know a, a a big component of this tournament. That's honestly like outside of the state, especially in Canada. That's something that we look forward to to seeing. You know the the clips of that. So first of all, first of all, how uh, how how awesome was your salad back in the day? And second of all, where did this like tradition originate, or how did it originate? Because because I, oh. I I'm truly curious. I think it's just because there's something about hockey players and, and terrible hair that we just love. <laughs> we just love, uh, we're, we're, we are unique. I mean, obviously we don't mind having no yeah. teeth and, and, and we love wild, crazy hair coming out of our helmet. I'm going to blame Dave Snuggerud. I think it was Dave Snuggerud probably <laughs> way back in the day, the hair coming out of the ear hole, you know, I think that was it. There's, you know, it, it's, it's always been here. I remember I, you know, it wasn't even hockey here back in the day. It was just, we just all had great long mullets. I had the big yeah. long mullet. I had the big wave, you know, up front. And then, then the, the number 21 and the lightning bolts shaved in the side. Oh, yes. We need, we need, vid- we need picture evidence of this. <laughs> I had one year. I th- it might've been my sophomore year. I think actually I shaved my head. I, I just down to just a, just buzz cut more or less and i had a jaguar head shaved <laughs> in the back <laughs> i wonder if my parents have me oh my goodness that's amazing that one, that one was that one was my uh my, plus my mark, ballsiest A-plus. ballsiest one yeah of course you know i'm smart i let the let the girls color it in jaguar and blue oh of course know? of course yeah, yeah. oh that's that's that probably the craziest one i had was the when I shaved, so I pulled my helmet up and the Jaguar head and blue on my back of my head. <laughs> yeah, I get the girls just love that too because they, oh, yeah. they love that quirky shit for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Confidence, right? Not idiocy. It shows confidence. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not arrogant. Confidence. No. Confident. <laughs> That's right. Well, well, speaking Very of important. tourney flow, we're we're just gonna throw a little a little plug into a project that uh, we're currently involved with. Hoppy, I'll get it up on screen here because it's so fitting. But how about you? Uh, you share a little bit with Mark and everybody else. Uh, what's coming up here? Yeah, well, first off, big shout out to our friends at Lupulin Brewing up in Big Lake. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, kind of near Monticello, um, incredible beers year round. But they have their we- their annual uh, event, Big Beer Week which is several releases every day, Sunday through Sunday of beers that are like 10% or higher, like big barrel beers and stuff. And they were nice enough when they brought us in to record our full YouTube promo with them to promote the event. You'll love this. this They actually let us brew a beer with them and let my (laughs) wife do the can art. And this is it right here. Attorney (laughs) an IPA that's releasing this week, folks. Tap room only. If you want to drink this while you're watching the state tourney, get out to Lupulin for Big Beer Week. Check them out in general; they're incredible. But this beer, uh, Mark, what what do you think about the can label? That is spectacular. That is spectacular. <laughs> is what that is. That is awesome. That is. Uh, that, I, I'm pretty sure Yarmi Yager still has that haircut. And oh, yeah, absolutely. That Always is, well. that is <laughs> perfect. Well done. I am proud of you. Well done. Well done. There's such a beautiful That's segue awesome. into into this uh, that we had to we had to show you we had to show you the <laughs> label. Like. Oh, it's perfect! It's perfect. Yeah, the dirty flow. Oh, <laughs> and hey, and hey, I like, we, and I we like turn this into there's... an annual thing with them, Mark. Maybe we'll have to figure out uh, if we can get those pictures of your old hair. Maybe we. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <have> <laughs> oh, I guarantee you, my mom has it. You know, parents they love embarrassing your kids. Like, oh, there's yes. pictures over boxes sure. upon boxes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Just to, and I remember this. I love this story. My my senior year, uh, I I missed a penalty shot that would have was in overtime. We would have won the game, and it would have given me a hat trick. And and to go along with how love how much mom and dad love to embarrass their kids, my mom, in the yearbook, did a frame by frame. It was like four pages of pictures, frame by frame, of me losing the puck on a penalty shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take trolling? these out, mom. These can go away. <laughs> Tell you what, though, Eric. I mean, if you figure out the whole NFT game, you could probably turn those into NFTs and make cuckoo bucks off of them. There we go. There we go. Those that laugh at themselves make more money. Oh man. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> 